Welcome everybody, good to be back again. So, sometime during the December period, I took a few weeks off for family, playing some games, enjoyed some game testing time with the zombie survival game Humanity Z, which comes out later this year, and I ate a lot of food. I even played 100 plus hours of ARK, mainly to prepare for ARK 2, which also hopefully comes out later this year. I also hit 5,000 subs, so, my fellow minions, Thank you for all the likes and subs. Obviously, I'm over 5,000 now, but still, a couple of you do actually find my guides useful. And I wouldn't be here without you. So, thank you very much for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. As mentioned in my previous video last year, I started my website, snowbygaming.com. Basically, it's there to help players find my videos. The more games and mods I end up playing and doing guides on, the more of a mess my video wall becomes. As I know there are players that get confused with finding my guides and tutorials for particular 7 Days to Die mods, so the website was launched to help organize the guides. I've since also now launched the glossary section. It is not a wiki, <laughs> not even close, but it is a means to help some players with certain terms, item descriptions, definitions, and things in the mods that play especially beginners often will have questions about. So if you're looking for laser workbench information on Darkness Falls or maybe some information on research notes, possibly where could you find them maybe? It is a quick way of discovering that bit of information. At least to scratch that itch if you are a beginner and pretty clueless. Some of the glossary items will also be pointing to some of my videos that I've done. So again, it's there to help organize the guards and to make it easier to find stuff if you're looking for information on a particular mod. YouTube has been threatening to start adding websites to the searching in your actual YouTube searches. So there is a kind of a method to this madness if I can have a website on the sideline as well, pointing back to my videos. I'm not a web designer, so the site ain't perfect, but yeah, hopefully it will help some players find information more easily. Coming soon is info on some great survival games in 2023, and the next 7 Days to Die mod is Age of Oblivion mod. This mod is pretty interesting and a bit weird at times, and I will be releasing that this month as well. That was just a look at what is coming soon. Thanks very much for all the support. 2023 is going to be a huge survival games year, of course, if they get released. <laughs> Still, this is gearing up to be a really massive year and hopefully we can follow it together. Cheers for now, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.